What's not to love about birds? They do all of the work in the forest, pollination, seed dispersal. Birds are fantastic. We learn a lot about what's going on in a habitat just by listening to birds. They use songs and calls to keep track of each other, and we're trying to do exactly the same thing, use their songs and calls to keep track of them. There's a huge conservation crisis in Hawaii. We are known as the extinction capital of the world. Almost three-fourths of our native species have been lost. When mosquitoes arrived at the islands as humans moved in, those mosquitoes carry avian malaria and many, many species went extinct. Most of the other birds that remain are all at high elevation, above where the mosquitoes want to live. However, with global warming, temperatures are rising and that mosquito line is increasing as well. Without these birds, it's just gonna be the deterioration of our native forest beyond recognition. So we're putting out reporting equipment in the forest. We're using bioacoustics to estimate where the populations are and how many there are and see if they're responding to conservation action. You could manually analyze all of this data, but if it takes you five years to get through it, by that time, your bird may have gone extinct in that area already. So I've got together with Tom at Google to try to find some innovative ways to use AI in analyzing soundscapes in order to make really timely conservation decisions. There's not a whole lot of training data for the endangered Hawaiian birds. And also a lot of them sound similar to one another. So Perch is an AI model using Google tools that helps with species identification, but also identify new sounds that nobody's ever tried to capture before. We like to term it the Perch search. You can take this clip and you can scan through these hours of soundscapes, identifying a single species, lightning fast and to detect if we see an uptick in both adult and baby bird activity in these areas that are being treated for mosquitoes. In ideal world, we'll be able to see these populations and hear these populations really bouncing back from the brink. I am a big bird nerd. I would love to see a native bird in my backyard. Oh, that would be just a dream come true.